Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is a walkthrough for the gas puzzle from August 13th, 2024, Column Indexer by Philip Newman. So this is kind of a wild one. Uh, this is an indexing puzzle and indexing can be a little challenging to get your head around. So I'm gonna walk through it pretty slowly first with some examples. So first of all, we do have normal Sudoku rules. So we're placing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column and each outlined three by three region. But then we have this column indexer rule and it's phrased in the rules as written in a pretty formal way, but I'm gonna talk about it like this. So these four pink columns tell you some information about the digits two, four, six, and eight. So this column tells you about the digit two, this one tells you about four, this one tells you about six, and then this one tells you about eight. And what it does is if you look across a row, whatever number is in this column tells you the position of the number two. So because there is a one here, in the kind of magical two column, it tells you that the number two has to be in position one, which is the furthest left position. If there was, let's say, a um, seven here, like just, just if there was, if that's how it worked out, that's the column that refers to the digit four. So that would be telling us that the digit four is in the seventh position from the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'd be placing a four there. And in fact, that is clearly broken because that places two fours in that column. So we do in fact know that there's not actually a seven in that position because that would break fours. So we're going to start by focusing on digits that we can place immediately. And so first of all, let's look at the numbers that we have in these actual columns. So this is a three here and it is in the four column. So that tells us that the number four is in the third position. One, two, three, that's where the number four is going to go. Okay, uh, this is an eight, but it's already in the eight column. So it just tells us the number eight is in position eight. And if we look, yes, it is. It's already there. Okay, the seven here tells us that six, because this is the six column, has to be in the seventh position from the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So six has to be there. This tells us that two has to be in the second position from the left, but it's already there, so we don't have to worry about that. And then finally, this tells us that eight has to be in the ninth position from the left, or in other words, it has to be on the far right. And now if we look for some twos, fours, sixes, and eights in the grid, we can also go a little bit further. So this two, for instance, we know this is the column that tells us about the number two. And so in this column, we need to indicate that the number two is in the ninth position from the left because it's already placed there. So we'll, we're going to put a nine there to indicate that the two is in that spot. Um, this eight here is already taken care of. The four is already taken care of. This four is not, though. This four is in the seventh position from the left. So here in the four column, we're going to place a seven. This six is in the third position from the left. So in the six column, we're going to place a three. The two is already accounted for, this eight is not accounted for, so it is in the first position. So in the eight column, we're gonna have to put a one. And I think that's it for now, but at this point we're gonna do some Sudoku. So we have an eight here and we have an eight here, and that leaves only one position for eight in region one, which is right here. But eight is one of our magic digits, we index it with this column. So in this column, we're gonna indicate the position of this eight. It's in the third position from the left. So we're gonna place a three. And we have a three here, which places a three there by Sudoku. And we still need to place a six and a seven here. This just means that two is in either the sixth or the seventh position from the left. And we don't know which one it is yet. So we're gonna to have to leave that. Let's go down here to the bottom right corner. So we have a two here and a two here. So that places a two there in the region. This two is in the seventh position. So we're gonna put a seven in column two. We can also place a seven in this region because the seven sees all of the empty cells but one. And then these two cells are going to contain three and four. This just tells us just as a reminder that the eight in this row is either in the third position or the fourth position. And I'm realizing now that I'm looking at this a second time that I actually said something a little bit premature when I went up here and I said, we can't resolve this because in fact, we actually can. So this is telling us that the two is in position six or position seven. Well, the two can't actually be in position seven because there's a two in that box already. 
So two must be in position six. We place the two there. This will be a six and that'll be a seven. And of course, we've already also placed a seven there, um, which I probably should have been paying attention to as well. This three makes that a four and a three. And that four is going to tell us to place an eight in the fourth position, which is right there. Okay, now we're cooking. So these rows are looking very full. So I'm going to pencil mark in one, five, and nine, which are my remaining digits there. But I don't think I can resolve those yet unless there's something else that I am completely missing, which I am open to the possibility of. Okay, so we need to place... So the next thing I notice is um, these three digits, they can't be two, three, four, five, six, or eight, which leaves only one, seven, and nine. And that's interesting because we now have this one, seven, nine triple. That makes this a five. And that makes this a four and a six, which will go in that order. And so now we know because there's a six in the eight column, that eight is in the sixth position. So it goes right there. This is not a nine and this is not a one just by Sudoku. These are going to be one, four, and seven. And that is not a seven. This indexes the position of four. Four is definitely not in position one here because there's a three there already. So four must go in position four. So we're gonna place a four here. Okay, we can probably do some similar things down here. If we look at these three cells, because this is a very symmetrical puzzle, that's not uncommon with indexing puzzles. Um, these three cells cannot be two, four, five, six, seven, or eight. And that leaves only one, three, and nine, which makes this cell a five. And then these will have to be four and six. This tells us that two is in the fourth position. And also two here is in the seventh position, which we, which we know that all checks out. Okay, that's not a one and that's not a nine. Now, if we finish column three and column seven, these are going to be three and eight and we can finish those by Sudoku. Eight is in the seventh position. So we're gonna put a seven in column eight here to indicate that. Now these are gonna be two and five, okay. That tells us that in one of these rows, 8 will be in position 2, and then in the other one, 8 will be in position 5. We don't know which is which yet. Over here, now we need 3, 5, and 8, and we're actually going to get some traction here because we have a 3 and 8 in this row, so that is our 5, and then this 3 here gives us an 8 and a 3. So now we know that the 8 is in position 2, so that'll get our 2, that'll get our 5, and in fact, we do end up having an 8 here, just as we expected. These cells have to be one, six, and nine. These cells have to be two and seven. And these have to contain uh, one, four, and nine. That can't be a four. Okay, so next what we need to do is find a position for the digit six. So this is gonna be one, six, or nine by Sudoku, but because six can't be in position one, we can eliminate the one there. Uh, these are going to be 1, 2, 4, and 9. The 2 is in position 5, according to our indexing. And then the 4 is in position 1 or 4. It can't be in position 9. Okay, we actually have a 4 in this column now, so that will be a 1, telling us that 4 goes over here and making this a 9. Perfect. These will be 5, 6, and 9. That's a 5. Uh, these will be one, three, and four. That's not a three. So this tells us six is, six is in position one. We already have that and we can resolve this. These cells, we need a three, which goes there just by Sudoku and a six. And we should be able to resolve the rest of the puzzle using classic Sudoku methods. Yep, this nine makes this a one and that's now a seven. That's now a nine and this is a five and a six. Okay, so that is how you solve Philip Newman's column indexer from August 13th. I hope you enjoyed that puzzle. If you'd like to solve it yourself and you haven't already, check out the link in the description below this video. Enjoy and I will see you next time.